do you assess the first week of the first training camp of uh, Trey Lance as a starting quarterback? How do I assess it? Yeah, how's he doing? How is he improving? Oh, I've been really encouraged. Um, you know, like I said when we talked the last time, um, you know, he gives himself a chance because he shows up every single day and he's ready to work. Uh, he has a humility about him um, that gives him a chance to learn from his mistakes, to grow. Um, I've been really encouraged about his demeanor. Um, that's impressive for a young man his age. Uh, that's not natural. Um, and so the way that he interacts with his team, the way that he um, operates on the field, the way that he responds when he makes a mistake, all of those things are very, very positive on top of his physical abilities, which are significant. Well, can you give an example of that demeanor? Is it just that he doesn't get too down on himself with a mistake here or there? Well, everybody has a different personality. Everybody has a different demeanor. Um, you know, we have a lot of examples of very, you know, quarterbacks uh, in the NFL that go up and down, very high and low. Um, some of the greatest to ever play have been that way. You know, I think of like Brett Favre. You know, he's constantly emotion on the field, like bumbled up. And then you have some flatliners. You know that. Um, so you you don't know until you get out there and, and begin to experience it with a young quarterback who's learning it. What their unique style and personality and demeanor is going to be. Um, and it can be both, um, but I think his demeanor has been really impressive um, in that you know he is able to compartmentalize um, you know his job, his role, his understanding mentally what he is responsible for, collectively as a leader of the team and the offense what he's responsible for, and having the proper timing of communication, when to get on somebody, when to encourage, you know when to slow things down, when to pick things up. I mean, you really are a manager. Um, not only of the game, but people. And um, for someone his age, 22 years old, to he doesn't have it down, guys. Like we're continuing to grow with that, but like he has a foundation and a base um, that I think is really impressive. Um, and the relationships that he has in a locker room is what allows him to do that. He's more like this rather than a flatliner. <laughs> or this. He's kinda yeah, no, this. he's got a you know appropriate amount of. Um, understanding of, of timing and moments and and um, you know he doesn't get too low doesn't get too high um, that's been pretty cool to see have I don't you know had an we... opportunity to talk with Jimmy Garoppolo at all since he's been here we yeah you know I texted him but like um, I left that between Jimmy and and Kyle um, and I, I I have a um, huge amount of respect for for Jimmy um, again we talk about experiences I was in a situation where I was uh, I knew I wasn't going to be on a team and I was let go late in the process after June 1st for salary cap reasons and I remember how hard that was and um, we all want to know where we're going to play where we're going to be uh, and now this has gone on and, and uh, so it's very difficult for, for Jimmy and so I have a lot of empathy for the situation that he's in I know what he's meant to this organization to this locker room to this um, to this area, to the Bay Area, and so um, I hope that this is resolved as soon as possible and that he finds a place that works for him. Um, so uh, I wish nothing but the best for him. How beneficial has it been for Trey as a first year starter to be going against this defense that's been just so dominant in recent years? Yeah, I, I think there's some good and bad, you know. Um, can't get much harder. Uh, but, you know, you also want to build um, some skills and some confidence, too, <laughs> you know. Um, but I think he understands uh, the position that we're in. Um, I think he understands that um, this is a great opportunity um, to grow um, and to do it against some of the best in the league. Trey's been described as a perfectionist, and he's going against this great defense, and he has some days that maybe aren't the best. Do you, do you have to talk to him about not getting too down on himself, or does he compartmentalize that well and just move on? No, we haven't had any conversation about that. It's just competition.